Strange weather, unusual and extreme weather events that you never thought were possible part 2. Water spouts, these are rotating columns of water that resemble tornadoes and form over bodies of water. Water spouts are rotating columns of water that resemble tornadoes and form over bodies of water. They are typically classified into two types, tornadic water spouts and non-tornadic water spouts. Tornadic water spouts are more common and form in association with thunderstorms, while non-tornadic water spouts form in fair weather conditions. Tornadic water spouts typically form over warm and humid bodies of water, such as the Gulf of Mexico, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Great Lakes. They are associated with severe thunderstorms and can be dangerous, as they can cause significant damage to boats and coastal infrastructure. Non-tornadic water spouts, on the other hand, form in fair weather conditions and are not typically associated with thunderstorms. They are less common than tornadic water spouts and are typically smaller and less dangerous. Water spouts are similar to tornadoes in that they are rotating columns of air, but they differ in that they form over bodies of water rather than over land. They are created by the same atmospheric conditions that cause tornadoes, including strong wind shear and instability in the atmosphere. Water spouts can vary in size and intensity, with some reaching heights of several hundred feet and winds of up to 200 miles per hour. While water spouts can be dangerous, they are also a fascinating and unique meteorological phenomenon. They can be a stunning sight to behold, particularly from a safe distance. In addition, water spouts can have a positive impact on the environment, as they can help to mix the water column and bring nutrients to the surface, benefiting marine life. Fire whirls, similar to fire tornadoes, fire whirls are rotating columns of fire that can occur during wildfires or other large fires. Fire whirls, also known as fire devils, are rotating columns of fire that can occur during wildfires or other large fires. They are similar to fire tornadoes, but are typically smaller in size and less intense. Fire whirls can range in size from a few inches to several feet in diameter and can reach heights of up to 500 feet. Fire whirls are created when intense heat from a fire creates updrafts of hot air, which can then begin to rotate due to the changing wind patterns in the area. As the column of hot air rises, it draws in more heat and debris, causing the whirl to grow in size and intensity. Fire whirls can also be created by the interaction of wind and flames, which can cause the fire to spin and form a rotating column of fire. Fire whirls can be dangerous, as they can cause the fire to spread quickly and unpredictably. They can also cause debris to be thrown great distances, posing a threat to firefighters and other first responders. In addition, fire whirls can create their own weather patterns, such as lightning and strong winds, which can further exacerbate the fire and create dangerous conditions for those in the area. While fire whirls can be dangerous, they are also a fascinating and unique meteorological phenomenon. They can be a stunning sight to behold, particularly from a safe distance. In addition, fire whirls can have a positive impact on the environment, as they can help to break up dead vegetation and improve soil quality. Ball lightning, a rare and unexplained atmospheric phenomenon where a sphere of electrical energy appears during a thunderstorm. Ball lightning is a rare and unexplained atmospheric phenomenon where a sphere of electrical energy appears during a thunderstorm. This phenomenon is still not well understood, and its origins and nature have been the subject of much speculation among scientists. The appearance of ball lightning is typically described as a glowing, spherical or ovoid object that ranges in size from a golf ball to a basketball. It may last for several seconds or several minutes and may move in a straight line or follow a random path. Some reports describe it as being silent, while others describe a hissing or crackling sound. Ball lightning is considered a rare phenomenon, and it is estimated that only 1-2% to of people who witness a thunderstorm will see ball lightning. This is partly due to its unpredictable nature and the fact that it is often obscured by other visual distractions during a thunderstorm. Despite numerous reports of ball lightning, scientists still do not fully understand what causes this phenomenon. Some theories suggest that ball lightning is a form of plasma, while others suggest that it is caused by electromagnetic radiation from lightning strikes. Some researchers have even proposed that ball lightning is a form of quantum matter, which is a type of matter that behaves differently from ordinary matter. Frost flowers, these are intricate and delicate ice formations that resemble flowers and are created when water vapor freezes on plants and other surfaces. Frost flowers are intricate and delicate ice formations that resemble flowers and are created when water vapor freezes on plants and other surfaces. 
These formations typically occur in cold, dry environments and are most commonly found in polar regions or at high altitudes. The formation of frost flowers occurs when water vapor in the air comes into contact with a cold surface, such as a plant stem or a rock. As the water vapor freezes, it creates thin layers of ice that gradually build up and form delicate, petal-like formations. The shape and size of frost flowers can vary depending on the temperature, humidity, and wind conditions in the area. Frost flowers are typically formed in the early morning, when the ground and air temperatures are at their coldest. They are often found in clusters or patches, and can create a stunning and otherworldly landscape. Because they are delicate and easily damaged, frost flowers are often only visible for a short period of time before they melt or evaporate. While frost flowers are primarily a natural phenomenon, they have also been observed on man-made surfaces such as oil spills or in laboratory experiments. Scientists are interested in studying frost flowers because of their unique properties, such as their ability to trap particles and create microclimates that can support life in otherwise inhospitable environments. Super Typhoons These are extremely powerful and destructive tropical storms that can have winds exceeding 150 miles per hour and cause catastrophic damage. Super typhoons are extremely powerful and destructive tropical storms that can have winds exceeding 150 miles per hour and cause catastrophic damage. They are similar to hurricanes, but they occur in the western Pacific Ocean and are known as typhoons in that region. Super typhoons are formed when warm ocean water, high humidity, and low pressure combine to create a powerful storm system. These storms can grow rapidly in intensity and size, and can cause devastating flooding, landslides, and wind damage. The impacts of super typhoons can be devastating, and they can cause widespread destruction and loss of life. In recent years, the Philippines, Japan, and Taiwan have been hit by some of the most powerful super typhoons on record, including Typhoon Haiyan in 2013 and Typhoon Yolanda in 2018. Scientists are studying the effects of climate change on the frequency and intensity of super typhoons. Some studies suggest that global warming may lead to more frequent and powerful typhoons in the future as warmer ocean waters provide more energy for storms to develop. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe.